Okay guys, so this week for Family Art Night, we are doing Zentangles. We read elephant books. Check them out. Three of my favorites. Super great. Lots of fun. And then we're going to Zentangle for our artsy activity. Which I think is pretty cool. These these are the ones that Miss Annie did as our sample, and I think they came out really neat. She did a really good job. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do one with you as a sample, and we're gonna do I'm gonna do mine on purpose, a little bit differently than she did, just so that we can see see the difference in two different methods of being artsy. Okay, so everything you need is in your bag, which is the Create bag. Pick it up Monday through Saturday at the desk or through curbside, whichever one works for you. There are instructions. Everything you need except your writing utensil of some kind is available. I'm going to use my fancy felt tip pens that I use to color coordinate my calendar. Um, there we go. But you can use whatever. Annie, Miss Annie, she used just a pen. And you can do it that way. Use just a pen and then go back in and color. Or you can do what I'm going to do and use the colored markers to put in your Zentangles. Save a step. But it's entirely up to you. There's no wrong way to do it. You can do it however you like. I'm giving you a couple of different options and ways to do this. There are some like sample this one is a zentangle sample it's got um pattern examples and then there's just a couple of random coloring pictures that you can use to zentangle or if you want you can start all the way from scratch with a blank piece of paper and do sketch in your background and then fill it in with the zentangles however you want to do it um i think i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start with this one um, and I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some fun stuff, so let's see. Um, and remember, <coughs> no wrong way to do this. However it is that you want to do it, you can use whatever shapes you want, you can use, um, patterns, you can use the same pattern on the whole thing with different colors, or however, however you want to do it. This is the perfect example of no wrong way to craft. So I'm going to start with my son, do some simple lines just as a starting point. Some color, yay. Might be able to reset the brightness there. You can see the color a little better. Um, it was really dark when I was doing my picture books. Let's see, and let's see, I have two shades of blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the clouds in the lighter blue and the sky in the darker blue and like I said you can do this however you want to I'm gonna do little X's for my clouds because I think that would be fun that's really the only reason there's no real good reason for it I just think it would be kind of fun so we're gonna do a bunch of little X's which now that I'm halfway done seems like a lot of work. But, still fun. Still, I like it. Um, now, make sure you check out the um, Lego pictures. If they are not up today, which is Monday, they will be up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Everybody has picked up their prize. And so I have pictures of all of our winners and all of our creations and we got some really cool stuff this year so make sure that you um check it out let's see um it is march we're halfway through we've got so we have our march book bundles out and available i picked out some really cool stuff this month like some of my favorite books are in the bundles this month. We've got Women's History. We've got um, Oceans, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Crafting. Some really, 
some really neat, fun stuff, so I do recommend checking them out. Um, you can do that on a pre-order request form, or you can do it um, by stopping in on your own. It will be available um, on the ramp leading to the children's department. So, okay, I think I'm going to, you get the general idea, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to work ahead a little bit, and then show you what it looks like. So, stay tuned. Okay, so I thought I'd check in just a minute. So I've done my sky. I've done a couple little bushes. I haven't done the whole foreground yet, but let's zoom in a little bit here. You can see. I tried something a little different here that I don't know if I like too, too much. I am going to use this other shade of green for my rolling hills, but I think I'm going to do each one of these in a slightly different design. Um... It's just kind of a matter of what it is that I want. I'm not entirely... This is the hard part, trying to decide exactly what it is you want to do. I'm going to try this pattern. Just kind of fun. Um, but I thought that about this thing that didn't come out quite the same. So let's, let's try it. Um, so I'm going to doodle in some circles. And then I'm going to put lines in between my circles, which sounds simple enough. Let's see how it goes. The nice thing about this is that it doesn't all have to be super even and exactly the same. doesn't even have to all line up. I think that's my problem. I try too hard to make it all exactly like exactly the same. And that's not entirely necessary. So there. Ooh, one pattern done. Let's try a little more swirly this time. And I'm just going to swirl until I hit space. And then we'll pick some other ones. That'll work. going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going, and then I will be back with another check-in as I get some more of this done, so that you can see how it works. Um, really, it's fairly simple. Super creative. You can do it however you like with no rhyme or reason or rules except you know don't color on the table which I think is a fairly common everyday rule anyway <laughs> so there we go okay so got some more done and I am going to once again pause the video a little bit and then I will check back in and we'll see we'll see how we'll see how this Okay, let's check in a minute and see I've got all of my green rolling hills in and they're all in a slightly different pattern. This is kind of fun. Miss Annie might be right. It might not be quite as relaxing as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty fun. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the mountains in purple, which is a little different, but... Actually, I might use this color. It'll stand out a little bit better from the blue I did the sky in. It's just a matter of <sighs> my pattern. I might do. I might do some polka dots in this one. Because I really haven't done any dots, and that would be easy, and it would stand out against the stripes. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause again. I'm going to finish the mountains. I'm going to show you our final finished product. Okay, so there we go. I am all done. I have zentangled an entire picture, which is something I think we should be impressed with. Whether we agree that it looks nice or not, <laughs> and the fact that I finished is pretty cool. So there you go. You can do it in color, like I did. Or you can do it in black and white, like, let's zoom back out, like Miss Annie did. Um, if I get time or I get ambitious throughout the week, I might do another couple just so that we can see what these other two pictures look like in color. But for now, I think that's, that's a good sample. Um, just like that, I think. I think this is pretty fun. I think maybe next week's activity you might enjoy a little bit more, but this was fun. Um, until next time, stay safe and have fun, and I will see you later.